The lightning spell has forever changed Town Hall 11. It cannot stop this strategy because it's so OP. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel where today we're featuring some Town Hall 11 and if you haven't checked out the composition of the army, it's right there on the bottom of the screen. We have the Zap, Quake, Queen Charge Minor Attack Strategy. I'm telling you guys, Town Hall 11 is not built to withstand or to hold you back from crushing with this strategy. Go through this guide here today, practice it in friendly challenges, take it to war, and you will be a hero in your clan, guaranteed, if you put that practice in. But before I get into the how-tos and showing you what's going on here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash of Clans videos and other mobile gaming videos as well. There are six lightning spells and one earthquake spell, which tells us that we're most likely going to be taking down the clan castle, but sometimes they go for inferno towers too. And look at this. The lightnings took down the inferno tower. Then you add the quake spell, spreading it out so you get the 25% damage on some other buildings as well. And down goes the CC and one inferno tower. Now, at this point in time, you don't have to deal with any clan castle troops defensively within this attack. Nothing will come out of that CC because there is no clan castle. Now you're going to be funneling some things down with the queen. The siege barrack is coming in and notice the siege barracks was deep enough to not be able to be targeted by any defenses so you don't have to put a tank in front. We talked about that in the last Town Hall 11 video where I showed you four different attacks from Region Wars all at Town Hall 11 as well. So if you missed that video, go take a look because it was pretty darn good if I say so myself. But now the miners are coming on in right into the top of the base. They're going to be going for that Inferno Tower, and then they sh will most likely be able to path themselves right to that Eagle Artillery, and if not, the Hog Riders definitely will. Here we go. That air defense needs to go down just to make sure the pathing goes right. The Queen is pounding on wall for no reason because she's going to have to turn herself around, and there she goes. Here goes the Eagle Artillery. It's not even ready for what's about to come. Does not even get the shot off. The Queen can clean up everything in the East. The hogs and miners, it's like at this point in time, it's like a hybrid, right? You have all the hog riders max level coming from the siege barrack, or your clan castle if you don't use siege machines, and all those miners, which was like 20-something miners, the base is just not strong enough. With no defensive clan castle to stop your troops, with one inferno tower down, the base... I guess you could say is fairly weak no matter what the design. Now, bases are being built to protect themselves from these lightning spells. People are spreading out defenses so that you can't get too much value. But sometimes you run into those bases where there's a clan castle, a queen, two infernos, an eagle, all next to each other. You can take everything out with the lightning spells and with the quake spell. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable how strong this is. But that was only one example of four that I have for you today. On my way to ask my parents for $19.99 investment for 0% equity to purchase a sack of gems. Remember to use code ECHO if you buy anything in Clash of Clans. Fifth grade me trying to get free gems in Clash of Clans. Remember? <laughs> that was funny. Remember when you tried to get free gems when you were young because you didn't have a job and you did all those cash wrap things? Yeah. Well... FBI. FBI. There were some sketchy ways to get gems in Clash of Clans. Now you just know use code ECHO. You know. It's, it's the best way. Just... Just saying. Cracked up, jacked up phone. Your base is under attack. Oh no, wow, this guy's quick. Explain to his mom when he's about to get that three star. Very big, very important. When you hear about it, you're going to be very proud. Just so you know, mom, I am about to do something that's very, very big. <laughs> when you hear about it, you're going to be very proud. Yes, I understand. Pulling that three star. That feels nice. What's even going on on this base? How is there just a town hall? And what is that glow? Literally everything going in there. The champion awakening the town hall. Are those all tornado traps? Those are all tornado traps. All right, modded server. Okay. <laughs> I see where you're at right now. That's kind of funny. Is it good? Are they going to all die? I think they are. I don't think any dragons are going to make it to that town hall because all the tornado traps are pulling them back and dropping that damage. But wait, will the heroes get it done? They may. Oh, that warden is going to be clutch. 
Wow, that's something different. That's something different for the channel. Oh, I remember this one. Remember this? This was like the 3D, like, virtual reality hog rider ride inside of Clash of Clans. This, this video came out a ways back. I mean, I'm not going to say this is funny or anything, but man, this is like a throwback to some really good Clash animation. We can call it Clanimation. Yeah, I mean, we're riding the, we're riding the pig, guys. We are the hog rider going through the battle. This is kind of cool. Not funny, though. But that's okay because epic moments i don't know but it's pretty cool yeah hopefully uh hopefully supercell doesn't mind me using this one we'll find out pretty epic stuff though where is he even going oh snap damn into clash royale i see what's going on there We have Tristan coming in with another example here. Again, the composition a little different. This time, five lightning spells, one earthquake spell. Trying to, I mean, he didn't get as much value. He got down two expos, and I believe there was, I don't even, I, I don't even know what it was right there. I missed it. Message to editor. Pop it up in the corner so we can all see it. We need to know. Thanks, G. That hooks me up. So here we go, coming around. The king is setting that funnel. The queen's gonna dive into the base. This part of the base was already taken out, which is nice, because now you don't need to dive the queen in there to get those bows. The queen's gonna head up to the north. The king is, well, he's gonna go down in the south. He's going down, and the queen is just gonna continue her walk around. A super wall breaker can be used to get her into the Inferno Tower compartment. Let's see if that actually goes down, and here's another Coco Loon coming in to kind of clear the airways. And here's that wall breaker. Boom, opening up the wall, the rage spell on the queen. Uh-oh, Inferno Dragon, but we are good. The Inferno Dragon did not take down the queen. Siege Barrack came in over here, and again, far away from any defenses that could target it. Remember, if you drop your Siege Barrack in and in range of defenses, make sure you have something tanking in front, a giant, a hero, something to make sure that the defenses aren't targeting your Siege Barracks, because if they do, it will die earlier, you'll get less wizards on the battlefield, and whatever's inside, whatever troops you have, will be deployed prematurely, too early. It happens too soon. Queen still has her ability. Grand Warden still has his, but uses it right there, so the miners can path on through. Hog Riders again, it's looking more like a hybrid at this point in time, which you all know what that is, I think. Probably the strongest strategy inside of all of the game. But here we go. Queen is going to be able to... Oh, the healers decide to leave the queen and give some love to those miners, which is cool. You know why? Queen has her ability, which can be popped at any point in time. And it's going to be used right there on the king. Queen is still at full health. Miners are going to path through the Inferno Tower. Queen can take out everything up in the north, including the Town Hall, which it always looks so good when the queen takes down the Town Hall. Let's just sit back and watch that. Just for a second, you know. Let's have a moment here as the queen does boss things. Cha-ching, there it is. Beautifully done, young lady. And the warden is giving that support to the miners. Hogs are all dead, but they took out the defenses they need to in the attack. How can you watch this and say, nah, that strategy's not for me. I don't like it. I think it's kind of impossible, unless if your queen is a super low level, if your lightning spells aren't upgraded, or if your miners are low level as well. Kurt comes to town with more, and we have some lava walls here, so maybe not a ma Actually, it looks like a max level town all 11 besides some wall pieces, everything else on there. Here we go, lightning spells. Look at the value, oh my god. Lightning spells took out the clan castle and the eagle, plus a few other defenses, which again, it's so fast. I miss it sometimes, guys. It's okay, it's fine. It's okay, you could hit, you could hit replay. You could, you could rewind the video if you need to. King is coming in on the west, and in the west. Queen is coming in from the north. Baby Dragon's gonna help and support right there. Now look at how narrow this base is becoming. The miners can be dropped right on those gold storages and they will just trash it. Look at that single finger deployment as well. You can tell there was one finger on the screen dragging it across. Grand Warden is there also. Actually, I think he was a little bit early on the miners in this attack. Nice job with the free spell on the Inferno Tower. Could have used the Grand Warden's ability. Actually, the Grand Warden's ability was already used. The P.E.K.K.A. is leading the way down the south, heading down to down in the over in the west, heading down towards the south, tripping over my directions here, guys. It happens sometimes. The Queen, though, those healers are gonna fall victim to that air defense. You gotta pop that Queen's ability. There it is. 
popped right there. The queen is going to hopefully run quickly. Actually, the miners came through and were the actual heroes of this attack, keeping those healers up, allowing for the queen to continue pathing around the basement, but her, her ability was used. So you need to make sure that she's not being targeted by anything because you want her to uh, you want her to take down Town Hall. So at least she's got a couple of healers to keep her up. Plenty of miners. We've got an ice golem coming around as well. Do you call it a golem or a golem? It's the quiz question of the day. I don't think either one is wrong. But do you call it a golem or a golem? Let me know down below. Ah, the final strategy of the day. And this one is the one that I think was a little bit weird on the deployment. We have Tiger coming through from Region Wars. Let's see where these lightnings are used right here. I have a keen eye on the screen. I don't want to blink and miss it. I can see the air, the Inferno's going down. No, what's he doing there? He's going like, oh, okay. Oh, this was actually nice. The Quake spell getting great value. Look at that. The entire compartment in the center was taken out. You, I don't even remember what was there. You had a lot of things. It's so darn hard to remember. And that's why hopefully my editor is on point in this video and can keep showing these things like a little close up of what goes down because man, I know that the, that the clan castle went down at least, which was the main job. That was the main thing that had to go down. Looks like a wizard tower was there as well. Uh, looks like a cannon was probably there also and maybe even an archer tower. I wonder how well, how good my guesses were right there, guys. It could have very, very well been off. It's all good though. We're not pro players here. We're just trying to make you better. That's all. Queen is doing what she does. Stepping on into that compartment. Looks like we got the siege barrack coming in from down south. This is where the attack is going to come in through. In the southwestern side of the base, all the miners are coming on in with the Grand Warden's ability not being used yet. Early heal spell on only about three quarters of the miners. So could have held that a little bit longer, but he wanted to get through that Eagle Artillery Strike. Grand Warden's ability is going to be used pretty soon, I think. I hope. I think. I don't know. When is the Warden ability going to be used? Maybe when they get towards that multi-inferno. That would probably be a smart play. Here come the Hog Riders as well. If he could hold the ability for when the Hog Riders are in the aura. There it is. Beautiful. The Hog Riders not being affected by the giant bomb. Staying at full health. And then they're going to be healed up through the Inferno Tower compartment. Oh my goodness. Tiger coming through. Making this look like cake. Like easy sauce. Like nothing. And honestly, maybe it was. Because Tiger, well, they practice friendly challenge to death guys got to make sure that you know how to do these strategies before you bring them to war and look like a fool with a one star or even with a two star which is usually what happens to me don't look like a fool practice and friendly challenges and use the zap quake queen charge minor strategy it's one of the best right now in the game but there's two things that i want to talk to you guys about before i get out of here for the day while we're doing it while i'm having this discussion i'm going to be showing you a nice triple that i had in legends league using my uh, my yeti smash strategy which is what i basically use in legends it's uh just very versatile you can use whatever but the important stuff to talk about is one remember that when you buy gems your gold pass or anything inside the game please consider using code echo doing that keeps me full-time on youtube because supercell takes a very small percentage of your purchase and sends it to me because they appreciate me i guess i don't know but it definitely does help me especially in tough times right now you would think that youtube is in a great spot now because everyone's home watching youtube videos but actually you know, YouTube is not in the best place, which makes it difficult for creators like myself that are trying to stay full time, do it. So when you use Code Echo, it definitely helps me and I appreciate it. So thank you guys very much. In addition, if you want to be even more of a supporter than that, you could always consider becoming a member on my channel. I have multiple membership tiers from $2 per month all the way down to 25 or up to 25 you would be getting emotes which can now be used inside of your comments on youtube as well making them much more easy for me to see much more inclined for me to reply to your comments these days there are so many comments guys i literally cannot get to all of them and create content on a daily basis it's just way too much especially for two youtube channels so if you want to become a member, you get emotes, you get badges. We have a movie night once a month. Remember, if we get to 100 members, I will be doing a movie night for all of the members, no matter what your tier. And if you come through with the Palladium tier, which is 25 per month, I would come to your clan and highlight one of your wars if you would like me to do so. So that's it, guys. I would appreciate any support you can give. And if you can't do any of that, just keep coming back for more videos, being an active member on the channel, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making my dreams come true so that I could be a full-time content creator here on YouTube. And uh, 
Well, that's all I have to say. And now we can watch the rest of my beautiful triple because it doesn't happen as often as you would think. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks so much for having me over in the clan, getting some great attacks and we're out of here. Check out these videos before you go and here's some merch if you like it. Have a good day, guys. And be good.